Fabulous. You stepped into amazing domain team just now. People and automation and kind of giving time back instead of replacing people with automation. So how FinApps plays in automation field, you know, with machine learning, with better technologies today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we have a variety of different things that, that we can provide and we're adding more and more, right? But our focus, right, you know, as, as I like to say, we're not going to make any money unless we save you money, right? So, you know, we got the, you know, what I call the traditional kind of stuff, right? So, you know, sort of waste management automation, so I'm kind of cleaning up some of that stuff. Um, where, you know, we have a, a, an NRI automation system where we take all the risk and 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 provide you the savings, right? Um, we also are doing, you know, my, you know, the other thing I, I like to say is, you know, people go into those commitments and, you know, they think those things are great and they are good vehicles and put in the right way, but, you know, don't take away your number one lever of reducing costs. And that's, you know, I, I'll have to clean up my language. You know, got to realize I'm live, but, you know, you just turn that stuff off, right? You know, your ultimate goal is to match supply to, you know, the holy grail of the cloud, right? Is matching supply demand at the lowest cost, right? That's the holy grail, right? So, you know, and I, I learned this from, my experience is at PayPal, right? So this is back in, was it PayPal in like 2000, I think it was four to, to 2010, right? And, um, you know, we, you know, we were growing like crazy, big data. I mean, it was just amazing data centers that we were building out there. And our ultimate goal, right, was, you know, Christmas would come around and then we immediately for the next year focused on one hour out of the year, right? We need to ensure that we had enough capacity for for one hour out of the year. And that was the third Monday from tw uh, 12 to 1 uh, before Christmas, right? And so we spent, you know, we had you know, nine nines out of 10, we had to re-architect something, right? We had to provision a lot of, you know, servers to, to match that capacity, right? And then, uh, you know, we hit it. And then, you know, maybe drop down and then, you know, get back from the years and you're focused completely on what that one hour today is, right? And so when I moved over to a startup called Workday, and I'm, and I'm pretty sure everybody kind of knows that now, but at that time, right, you know, it, 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 you, we, I got introduced to, to AWS at that time, right? And we we're spending maybe, I don't know, $5,000 maybe tops in, in Amazon a month. And it was just unleashed. Uh, it just, it was unbelievable. When I started to look at it, it, was like the power of what we could be able to do and the speed of innovation that we could do, right? And so we really focused on matching supply to demand to the lowest cost, right? And leveraging all those different resources, you know, all those different levers to do that. And uh, that's the power of the cloud, right? And so when I, look you know and, and across my customer base right it, it it still amazes me the number of folks that still run basically run like a data center right 24 7 everything's up and you know and i like to say guys you know i hear you i hear you it's got to be up but you know even google has a pattern right paypal had a pattern we could take the whole site down right and or half the site down during certain hours and do maintenance on it right so you have a pattern and your goal is to match that pattern, right? That's the holy grail we're trying to do, right? And and that's gonna be difficult, right? I mean, you're both, you know, you look at you look at it and it's like, there's the ocean, right? What the hell? Sorry, what the heck am I gonna do first? Right. And you know, and that's where visibility comes into play, is really starting to take that sort of bigger picture and slice it into areas where we can now really have focused efforts by the people that are actually responsible for certain areas to be able to make those changes and be able to do that. So um, I don't know, I'll ramble on forever. I'm not even sure what I was answering, but uh, yeah, it, you know, and so we're, we're you know, and then we're just trying to help, right? Uh, with that journey, I think, uh, you know, we're, we're really building the tool um, and really, um, you know, it's, building a tool to help with that journey, right? And so to kind of guide you through that and be able to leverage some of the, the learnings that we've seen over time and, uh, and, and, and get you there, right? So you can focus on what your company actually does.
Beautiful, beautiful. You mentioned people in the company, structures and culture. All right. So when we're talking about new discipline, FinApps again, you know, uh, gaining the attention right now in the marketplace, but still mm -hmm. company culture. Okay, you mentioned the transition to cloud. Okay, many still still behind on this, really, right? And they still apply their data center practices to cl cloud culture. So when right. you're talking to some of the conservative companies, okay, where do you find this right angle to say simply what FinApps adds to their business and to their yeah? Market? I mean, it's mm -hmm. it's 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 a journey, right? At, at the end of the day, is you know we have. You know, I have a really good customer that I speak with on a regular, right? And we look at it and it's like, you throw a bunch of RIs at it, right? You, you, you do everything that, you know, maybe like a traditional, you negotiate different pricing for different tiers and you do commitments, right? But you, you, you know, and you can only go so far, right? And, we, you know, we take a lot of that risk. So it still gives them the ability to, to take care of the, the other levers, right? But getting them to to shut a box down or 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 to um, you know um, move into like like spot or something like that it's a it, it can seem overwhelming, right? And so, like I said, as we're breaking it into smaller pieces, and that you can you can experiment and then be able to be able to leverage it like at, like at um, at workday, right? When spot first came out, I mean. Oh my gosh, that you know, we're we, you know, we was running the the so it just to kind of put some frame in it too. It was at work day when you, we got introduced to AWS. It was, you know, we we weren't touching our customer production sites yet. It's the cloud was too new, and you know, we were handling basically the most important data that the companies had. And so we started to move it in from a, a test and dev and all of our pipelines. And that moment that spot came out and we tried to, you know, we were going to experiment and oh my gosh, the number of doubts, you know, everybody had in that thing, right? It was, you know, it just, you, you could easily shut down a conversation, right? But you just, you take small pieces, right? And this thing doesn't have to be hard. Take something small, experiment, try it, right? And then you, you fast forward six months and I'm controlling the spot market. We're running so much spot. I could drive prices. I could, you know, back in the good old days of spot, you could drive, you could drive the market, right? You know, and we built an architecture. I could run anywhere in the world. I could run a workload anywhere in the world on spot looking for the best price and, you know, and, and, and really working on not getting it, getting my legs cut off as I, I like to say, right? And if I did, we were checking, you know, we were running our, 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 our test every time someone checked in. So long and short of it, we could pick it up the next time, right? And so we focused on that. And so we got huge, I mean, millions of dollars worth of savings, right? Just doing that in our dev and test. Then guess what? As we moved workloads into production, right? We got to a point that we were able to do it over there and not have interruptions. And so, you know, to the point that the culture changed that, you had to prove that you couldn't run a spot, right? And, you know, and it got us away to really leveraging really the cost savings, right? So, you know, I worked out, you know, we started off, you know, doing, um, you know, reserved instances and they, you know, I'm a history guy. So I always like talking history about, you know, the, the evolution of that thing. Right. Um, but, you know, I, I got a story where I'm in North Carolina. It's July 4th. We just rolled out some new pipelines and our bill just shot up un uh, unbelievable. Right. And I'm in a hotel. I got two kids right midnight and i'm putting together some plan to buy millions of dollars worth of reserve instances right and and to kind of cover that and you know and and why it was so difficult is we innovated so fast and at that time you had to actually hit the actual instance size right and um you know i'm sweating bullets trying to get get a vp to prove this you know two million dollar you know you know purchase before i click go it's the other thing i love about amazon it's like so it's a click of a button. I can spend a million, you know. <laughs> it's too fast, dollars. right? Don't right? you find it too fast yeah. sometimes, it's okay? So, Without so it. And so, um, you know, you know, and I'm like I said, is I'm a bit, I'm a fan of those, um, but it's got to be it, what 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 we're trying to do with our company is 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 provide that without the lock in because.